looking at the map, he said. Who else would be here? We were running from him. Have you forgotten? Wanyan Yekovu turns to Alicia and Jonathan. How long do we have before they get here? Looking at their tablets, Alicia said. Roughly twenty-five minutes. Wanyan Yekovu said. You all should know by now that Sabaoth is able. I'll let you know something in fifteen. Wanyan Yekovu took a seat on the ground. Just before he closed his eyes, he said. Ibrahim's children, be not afraid, but this is your kill only. Sabaoth has already said that you are his chosen, so no harm shall come to you. If he said it, it will be so. Have confidence in yourself. We will sit back and watch you. I have trained all my life, and I have killed no one in my life until recently, and my first kill was very painful. You'll need to get that first kill out of the way. They all nervously said. Okay. Wanyan Yekova meditated for a few moments and stood up, saying, The men shall pass, and within minutes they will also return. They will land there. Pointing a few yards to the north of them. The big guy with the beard seems to be the leader. They want the girls and Daniels to be their sex slaves. But they want to rape you before they leave here because of their long trip from Jackson, Mississippi. Their bounty hunters, indeed, sent from Oedipus. With a sad look on his face, he looks at Grace. There's only one injury, and it looks bad, sister. Everyone speaks at one time. What? Who? He looked down. Grace, you broke a nail. And everyone laughs. One in Yekova then said. Just fight with confidence. Besides, we are fighting for Sabaoth. That's why I can laugh and joke. Who can be against us when he is with us? Then he turned to Jonathan. Your mouth is clean compared to theirs. Just then, the jet ships passed. One in Yekovu turns to Joam and Jonathan, pointing to a large rock. Please sit. The jet ships landed, and the men got off their jet ships. Just as he said it would happen, it happened. An obese guy with a beard with a smile on his face said, Well, 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 boys, look like we have a two for one. A hefty bounty, and we can get some shit off our chest. After all, look at the brand on the horse's hindquarters. Pointing at Daniel. I want the little boy first, and then I'll take. Pointing at Joy. That bitch there. Elijah was furious but nervous at the same time. What kind of man are you to rape boys, and my sister is not a bitch? The big guy pulled out his weapon. Well, I see. I think I'll fuck you first. Bitch. Joy interrupted and said, Elijah, I got this one. I always saw his type on those old classic movies, and I've always wanted to do this. The man turned. Fellows, we got a live one here. Who's after me? He unzipped his pants and pulled out his penis. Joy grabbed his penis, and the man started jerking and trembling and then fell to the ground, screaming in pain. Joy took the man's penis and forced it into his mouth while wiping the blood from her hands on his clothes, looked up, smiled. Next! The men started shooting, but Alicia had his force field up vertically while Grace quickly ran to the back of the gang and killed four of the men by decapitating them with her assegai. Then she cut off the hands of those shooting while Elijah and Daniel came in for the kill. Mercy turned into a cougar, killing a man, and quickly transformed into a black mamba striking those nearby. Once the shooting stopped, Alicia joined in. All twenty-five men were dead. 